Hey guys, what's up? So this video is going to be a little bit more heavy. Uh, I know my, my channel's focused mostly on comedy, but there's going to be some funny stuff, but also some sad stuff. Yeah. The reason it's sad is because Christian hasn't seen his dad in over 25 years. And I've never really met him. You haven't, so you haven't met your dad? You, I was like three. So, so the last time you saw your dad was when you were three? Yeah. I don't know anything about him at all. Like, I don't know what he looks like, if he has a family. I know nothing. I, 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 don't, I don't even really know his name. So a couple days ago, an Instagram account reached out to Christian claiming that it was his father. Um, Christian came with me with this information. No, I told Nick. I told Nick about it. And uh, he was like, yo, message the person back. And I was like, I, I just didn't know how to feel about it. He told me to message him back, and then I did. Uh, yeah. Uh, Christian was a bit hesitant at yeah. one point. So I thought it was a prank. That was a prank. Yeah, he did think it was a prank, but then we kind of dove deep yeah. into the situation and like the account that was messaging you. And it turns out it was from where you used to live. Yeah, from my used to yeah. Yeah, from your hometown. Yeah, so I, I reached out to the number and then I called my dad. I actually called him a couple days ago and it actually was him. Yeah. And then um, I decided that I'm gonna go up to meet him in a couple days for Thanksgiving. All right guys, so this is official. It's actually gonna happen. We're gonna go out to Oakland and meet Christian's dad, his biological father. I don't know, um, honestly, I don't know why I'm taking it with me. Dude, I, I'm there for why. emotional support. He like wants to come with me. Here, here's the thing guys, my perspective. You guys know Nick. This is a serious moment for me and Nick's gonna be there. Like, for what? You're just gonna be joking around. How am I gonna be joking around? He should meet your friends. That's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, but he's coming with me. We, I, I said yes, he's coming. He bought the plane ticket already. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this, dude. I don't, I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know what to do. Dude, so I was thinking to myself, you've never had a real dad. Mm -hmm. This is a hypothetical situation right now. You don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to borrow my dad? For rehearsal? To rehearse? <laughs> I, I mean, just to... See what it's like. What it's like to be a son. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dad. It just wasn't him. My mom remarried. You don't have to lie on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. Yeah, we'll borrow your dad. That's fine. This is your new son, Christian. Alright. So, how did that feel? So, feels good. So one of the first responsibilities of a father is to teach her son how to ride a bike. It's fun. Are you so far proud of me? You hold it and let it jump. Not too high. That's fun. I've never, I've never. Hey guys, uh, so we're on our way. Quick fun fact, I don't have my ID or my passport. They're not gonna let you on the plane, you know that, right? How much does an Uber cost? From Oakland to LA? It's yeah. six hours. It's like, it's 327 miles. <laughs> Worst case, I wonder if I can cancel my plane ride. Your plane ticket was like about two something? Yeah. You could just Uber. For what, how much is it? $500? $384. Really? You should go to the airport, and then if they don't let you on the plane, then just Uber it. Because honestly, they're probably not gonna let you on the plane, bro. You don't have any form of identification. All right, guys. We're about uh, three hours away from the location. We came to a food mart. <laughs> It's two in the morning, it looks like we're rolling up to bike crack. Guys, this is the saddest candy, I, <laughs> candy I've ever seen in my life. I haven't seen these in fucking years. Aren't these the Tropicanas? Blisters? <laughs> what in the fucking hell is that? Chumix? Guys, so we just walked out and we got like the dustiest snacks in the world. So we are on the road. I don't know whether you're doing this for the video or to support me as a friend, but I appreciate you coming with me to meet my dad. No, no problem, dude. This isn't for the video. Do you realize, like, this is real, right? Like, you're gonna see something crazy. You're gonna meet, you're gonna see me meet my dad for the first time. Like, that's kind of crazy, right? It's like I'm being fucked with. No, like, video aside, how crazy is that? So you've never seen this, dude? Bro, I was like three. Aside from that? No, no. I've not met this dude. I haven't talked to him ever, like, since I was three. He's just not been in my life at all in any way, shape, or form, zero. I didn't know he was married, didn't know I have a little sister. Like, this is crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. You were snoring so loud earlier, dude. I knocked out for like 10 minutes. No, you were out for like an hour. I wasn't. Yeah, dead serious. Really? Yeah, bro, you were snoring. 
I'm rested. I'm ready to go meet your dad right now. <laughs> you go knock on his door. He opens the <laughs> he opens the door with his underwear. <laughs> like dad. Uh, he's in the, <laughs> he's in his boxers. <laughs> like hey, okay, Clarence. <laughs> Alright, we're arriving. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm at Brooke's parents' house. Brooke is Christian's wife. We're gonna stay here for the night, and then tomorrow we're gonna leave at 10 a.m. and meet with Christian's dad at 3 p.m. So, uh, yeah, I'm in this room. Christian told me it's haunted, but I, I'm pretty sure he just messed with me. We're gonna be here till about 10 a.m. And uh, we're gonna leave to Oakland so we can get there at 3. Guys, I'm just tired right now. Well, I wanna show you guys something kinda creepy. Look at this fing doll. It's so scary. What in the hell? It's a creepy rabbit. Guys, I came and woke Nick up. I said, come on, let's go. He's like, where? <laughs> How'd you sleep? How'd I sleep? Yeah. I had a grown man looking over my shoulder the whole night. <laughs> yeah, there's a life-size football player in the room. <laughs> oh, dude, that thing's so fucking creepy. I see his bulge, too. <laughs> it's fucking camel toe. Hey, I'm like, he's got a big penis. <laughs> I need a shower. How long is it gonna take? Uh, no, quick. Hey, you, you don't shower. My dad. I meet my dad. He's like, what the hell? That smells. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fucking, fucking fat, dude. He doesn't know you know how to talk. He doesn't has no clue you're coming. Really? He has no clue these extra people are gonna be there. Fuck. That's dude. what I mean. Just we'll have to talk about the rules for today. I want to know exactly what you plan on doing, like when we meet. I, I have to know exactly what you plan on doing. So we're almost there. What are we? Forty. Forty-two minutes away. All right, guys. So we're heading there. This is crazy. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna meet with my dad that I've never met before for the first time in my life. I wonder if he'll like me. I'm nervous to meet my dad, uh, your dad. <laughs> oh my God, guys, it's failing. What's going on? What the hell is going on? What in the hell? You guys are two miles away and I feel really anxious right now. You're, you're just a comic <laughs> relief right now. Are you gonna call him daddy? No, I'm not gonna call him no. daddy. Are you gonna call him dad? No. What do you mean? Why, what do you mean? Why, why are you guys? What do you mean? No. I don't that's know your who dad. I haven't seen him for 25 years. I'm a dad. Dude, imagine that's your dad right there. I, I, honestly, There's a dog in the back seat. He's racing home because I told him we'll be there at four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he lives right here. What do we do? I don't know what to do. Where do I park? Um. Bro, this is freaking wild, dog. I know, this is crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Why is Jonah here? <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so we're here right now. Uh, we just arrived. We're literally 300 feet away from the house. <laughs> I feel like I'm meeting my dad. I'm like, Lamont, I've heard a lot about you <laughs> for the past three days. <laughs> yeah. I'm so nervous right now. I'm, I'm like so scared. All right, guys, we're walking there right now. I can't believe this is happening. Wait, what's his apartment number? <laughs> oh my God, this is the building right here. This is where he lives. Where's like bring your flashlight? Hi, what's up, man? Oh, so, sorry, we got here a little early. Listen, you come here. What's up, you right? Listen, what's up? I love you so much. And it's a blessing and I appreciate you so much for coming to see your dad, man. Oh, I know you got a lot of questions for me. Every question that you have for me, I promise. Hi, how are Monty, you? Monty. Nick, good to meet Nick. you. This is my wife, Brooke. Brooke, you are such a beautiful young lady. This is my friend, Chris, right here. Chris, very nice, nice to meet you guys. You guys want to sit down? What do you guys want? Yeah, whatever you guys want to do. You want to have a seat, guys? <laughs> uh, I'm getting older. I'm 54. Yeah. You guys are getting older. I'm 54. I'm 54. Yeah. I cannot let any more time, not another day, go by without trying to rectify what I did. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you have no blame in this whatsoever. Mm -hmm nor does Christina. You know, uh, relationships are tough. You just, you're married, you thank God you guys are young, and you have beautiful, you don't have to worry about yeah. kids right now. But when you involve kids in relationships, man, uh, and I was a young person at that time too, I don't know, 26, 27, your age. Yeah. Uh, it was tough for me, man. And one of, the, one of the main things that I, my issue was, was my parenting, like my parents, 
they weren't good role models. I mean, I loved them to death, you know, but I didn't really know, and no one really taught me how to be a good father, good husband. Yeah. Um, so I, I was out there floating on my own. I wanted, you're my only biological son, okay? Uh, Riley is my biological daughter, that's my stepson. I love him, I've I raised him since he was three months old. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I don't really have anything that I like want to hear. I just want, just came and just like, want to know like how genuine everything is. Obviously, I know you don't get anything out of like reaching out to me, you know, but of course my whole life, I'm like, I wonder who he is, wonder what he's doing. So, you know, it, mean, it means a lot. I just want to know like, is it not genuine? I know it's genuine, but it's like, cool, like I said, what's up? And then like, I don't see you for another 15 years. You know what I mean? Like, what's the goal from, from here? You know, I'd rather move forward than- Oh, I love that. So like, you're smart and I love that too. So listen to me. That is absolutely my goal as well. I want to be part of your life. Uh, moving forward, I want to be a part of your sister community. I, you guys are my kids. I yeah. love you with all my heart. I even want another day to go by without reaching out to you, son. Uh, I want Christina to eventually forgive me. I know it's harder for, for her, and I know I hurt my daughter very badly, but I felt like it was my job as the parent and as the older person to try to do what I can to spend the rest of my life yeah. making up for my past transgressions and failures, yeah. you know, so I admit all my wrongdoings, I put all the blame on myself, babe, but I did not want you to not know your father, not know yeah. your dad, not know how much I love you. I swear to God, baby, I love you with all my heart, and I'm very proud of you as a man. You know, you're a man now. Dad has a lot of making up to do to a lot of people, baby, you know, and um, I don't blame anybody else but myself for the wrongs that I've done. You know, but I'm still a good person. Yeah. Uh, I'm still a person that has feelings, and I, I want to be part of your life, son. I want to be part of Christina's life. Uh, I want to love you. I want to watch you grow. And then I, you know, I just want to be happy myself. Yeah. You know, we get one chance at this life. So we make mistakes in life. Either you learn from your mistakes or you keep bumping your head. How did Christian break his arm? Okay, listen. Uh, what happened was, Christian, as a little five-year-old, six-year-old kid, loved to hop around the house and be a cheetah. <laughs> he would jump on our bed, and he would jump from the bed down to the ground. Yeah. And he just did it all the time. <laughs> but, um, I came home one night, and he was laying in the bed, and your mom told me something about Christian. So I asked you, I asked, I asked him, yeah, I asked Christian, what did you do? And Christian wouldn't admit to it. He said, nothing, Dad, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I don't remember the cheetah. Yeah. And like, I know this guy for seven minutes, he's exposing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, no, this is me at Delta College in Stockton. Oh, at number 10? Are you number 10? I'm uh, number 10. Oh, I'm like, are you 12? <laughs> oh, stop. Wait, you're 13. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's your dad right there. You look like, like wait, that is this person. you? <laughs> <laughs> are you three? Are you number three? Yeah, yeah. appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Ooh, you're such a handsome boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like, where's my hug? Yeah, yeah. Come here, give me a hug, boy. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I know this video is a little heavy, but now we're gonna go do some fun stuff. What's up? So that's the end of the video. I had a pretty fun time. We came to an arcade. <laughs> and that was pretty much the outro. Guys, Christian's gonna do a four part series on his YouTube channel. I'm gonna plug the link in the description below, so make sure to check out his channel. See you guys, bye. Welcome everyone to Burbank. We ask that you please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened, seat back and tray tables in the pull up right, lock position.